In this video, we will look at the N Queens problem, which is solved using the branch and bond approach. The N Queens problem is a generalization of four Queens problem, where we have four Queens to be placed on a four by four chessboard. The chessboard is divided into rows and columns, and the rows and columns are numbered from one to four. Each queen has to be placed in such a way that no two queens attack. That is, no two queens can be on the same row or column or diagonal. This is the constraint for the n queens problem. Since each queen must be on a different row, we can assume queen i is to be placed on row i. The solution space is represented as a state space tree, also known as permutation tree. The edges are labeled by possible values of x i. Therefore, for four queens, the solution space consists of four factorial, which is twenty-four, and will have twenty-four leaf nodes in the permutation tree. The solution space using the permutation tree is defined by all the paths from the root node to the leaf node. Let us take an example of four queens problem and solve using the branch and bound approach. Initially, there are no queens placed on the chessboard. So we start with the root node, which is node one of the state space tree, and is the live node and becomes the e node. Then node one, which is the e node, is expanded, and the possibility is to place queen one in row one and column one. So x one will be one since queen one is placed in column one, and we are at node two of the state space tree, and node two is added to the list of live nodes. Now queen one can also be placed in row one and column two, so x one will be two since queen one is placed in column two and we are at node eighteen of the state space tree, and node eighteen is added to the list of the live nodes. Remember we are numbering the nodes of the state space tree in depth first order, so we have numbered the latest node generated as eighteen. But remember the branch and bound approach. Uses breadth first order for generating children of the nodes. Then there is a possibility that queen one can also be placed in row one and column three. So x one will be three since queen one is placed in column three, and we are at node thirty four of the state space tree. The node thirty four is added to the list of the live nodes, and finally we have a possibility of placing queen one in row one and column four. So X one will be four since queen one is placed in column four, and we are at node fifty of the state space tree, and node fifty is added to the list of the live nodes. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen one in row one and all the columns. So all the children of node one are generated. Then we have node two as the live node, which becomes the e node and is expanded. Now when queen one is placed in row one and column one. Then queen two is placed in row two and column two, so x two will be two since queen two is placed in column two, and we are at node three of the state space tree. The node three is immediately killed because of the bounding function. The bounding function is that no two queens are attacking, and when queen two is placed in row two and column two, then queen one and queen two will be on the diagonal and will attack each other. So queen two cannot be placed in row two and column two. Remember, the queens attack each other when they are in the same row or same column or in the same diagonal. This bounding function will be used to kill or expand the e node. Then we have the possibility of placing queen two in row two and column three. So x two will be three since queen two is placed in column two, and we are at node eight of the state space tree. And node eight is added to the list of the live nodes. Then we have the possibility of placing queen two in row two and column four. So x two will be four since queen two is placed in column four, and we are at node thirteen of the state space tree. And node thirteen is added to the list of live nodes. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen two in row two when queen one is placed in column one. So all the children of node two are generated. Then we have node eighteen as the live node, which becomes the e node and is expanded. Now, when queen one is placed in row one and column two, then queen two is placed in row two and column one. So x two will be one since queen two is placed in column one, and we are at node nineteen of the state space tree. 
The node 19 is immediately killed because of the bounding function. The bounding function is that no two queens are attacking and when queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 1, then queen 1 and queen 2 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 2 cannot be placed in row 2 and column 1. Remember the queens attack each other when they are in the same row or same column or in same diagonal. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 2 in row 2 and column 3. So x2 will be 3 since queen 2 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 24 of the state space tree. The node 24 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 3 then queen 1 and queen 2 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 2 cannot be placed in row 2 and column 3. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 2 in row 2 and column 4. So x2 will be 4 since queen 2 is placed in column 4 and we are at node 29 of the state space tree and node 29 is added to the list of the live nodes. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 2 in row 2 when queen 1 is placed in column 2. So all the children of node 18 are generated. Then we have node 34 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 3, then queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 1. So x2 will be 1 since queen 2 is placed in column 1. And we are at node 35 of the state space tree and node 35 is added to the list of the live nodes. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 2 in row 2 and column 2. So x2 will be 2 since queen 2 is placed in column 2 and we are at node 40 of the state space tree. The node 40 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 2 then queen 1 and queen 2 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 2 cannot be placed in row 2 and column 2. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 2 in row 2 and column 4. So x2 will be 4 since queen 2 is placed in column 4 and we are at node 45 of the state space tree. The node 45 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 4, then queen 1 and queen 2 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 2 cannot be placed in row 2 and column 4. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 2 in row 2 when queen 1 is placed in column 3. So all the children of node 34 are generated. Then we have node 50 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 4, then queen 2 is placed in row 1 and column 1. So x2 will be 1 since queen 2 is placed in column 1 and we are at node 51 of the state space tree and node 51 is added to the list of the live nodes. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 2 in row 2 and column 2. So x2 will be 2 since queen 2 is placed in column 2. And we are at node 56 of the state space tree and node 56 is added to the list of the live nodes. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 2 in row 2 and column 3. So x2 will be 3 since queen 2 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 61 of the state space tree. The node 61 is killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 3 then queen 1 and queen 2 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 2 cannot be placed in row 2 and column 3. Now we have considered placing queen 1 in column 1 and column 2, column 3 and column 4 and all the possibilities of placing queen 2 in respective columns. Then we have node 8 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 1, and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 3, then queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2, so x3 will be 2, since queen 3 is placed in column 2, and we are at node 9 of the state space tree. The node 9 is killed because of the bounding function that when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2, then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. 
So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 2. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 3 in row 3 and column 4. So x3 will be 4 since queen 3 is placed in column 4 and we are at node 11 of the state space tree. The node 11 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 4 then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 4. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 3 in row 3 when queen 1 is placed in column 1 and queen 2 is placed in column 3. Then we have node 13 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 1 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 4 then queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2. So x3 will be 2 since queen 3 is placed in column 2 and we are at node 14 of the state space tree and node 14 is added to the list of the live nodes. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 3 in row 3 and column 3. So x3 will be 3 since queen 3 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 16 of the state space tree. The node 16 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 3 then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 3. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 3 in row 3 when queen 1 is placed in column 1 and queen 2 is placed in column 4. So all the children of node 13 are generated. Then we have node 29 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 2 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 4 then queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 1. So x3 will be 1 since queen 3 is placed in column 1 and we are at node 30 of the state space tree and node 30 is added to the list of the live nodes. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 3 in row 3 and column 3. So x3 will be 3 since queen 3 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 32 of the state space tree. The node 32 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 3 then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 3. Now, we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 3 in row 3 when queen 1 is placed in column 2 and queen 2 is placed in column 4. So all the children of node 29 are generated. Then we have node 35 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 3 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 1. Then queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2. So x3 will be 2 since queen 3 is placed in column 2 and we are at node 36 of the state space tree. The node 36 is immediately killed because of the bounding function. That is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2. Then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 2. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 3 in row 3 and column 4. So x3 will be 4 since queen 3 is placed in column 4 and we are at node 38 of the state space tree and node 38 is added to the list of the live nodes. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 3 in row 3 when queen 1 is placed in column 3 and queen 2 is placed in column 1. So all the children of node 35 are generated. Then we have node 51 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 4 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 1 then queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2. So x3 will be 2 since queen 3 is placed in column 2 and we are at node 52 of the state space tree. The node 52 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2 
then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 2. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 3 in row 3 and column 3. So x3 will be 3 since queen 3 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 54 of the state space tree and node 54 is added to the list of the live nodes. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 3 in row 3 when queen 1 is placed in column 4 and queen 2 is placed in column 1. So all the children of node 51 are generated. Then we have node 56 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 4 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 2 then queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 1. So x3 will be 1 since queen 3 is placed in column 1 and we are at node 57 of the state space tree. The node 57 is killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2 then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 1. Then we have the possibility of placing queen 3 in row 3 and column 3. So x3 will be 3 since queen 3 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 59 of the state space tree. The node 59 is killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 3 then queen 2 and queen 3 will be on the diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 3 cannot be placed in row 3 and column 3. Now we have considered placing queen 1 in column 1, column 2, column 3 and column 4 and all the possibilities of placing queen 2 in column 4 and column 1 and all the possibilities of placing queen 3 in respective columns. Then we have node 14 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 1 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 4 and when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 2 then queen 4 is placed in row 4 and column 3. So x4 will be 3 since queen 4 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 15 of the state space tree. Node 15 is immediately killed because of the bounding function that is when queen 4 is placed in row 4 and column 3 then queen 3 and queen 4 will be on the diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 4 cannot be placed in row 4 and column 3. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 4 in row 4 when queen 1 is placed in column 1, queen 2 is placed in column 4 and queen 3 is placed in column 2. So all the children of node 14 are generated. Then we have node 30 as the live node which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 2 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 4 and when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 1 then queen 4 is placed in row 4 and column 3. So x4 will be 3 since queen 4 is placed in column 3 and we are at node 31 of the state space tree. Now node 31 is the answer node since this node is not killed by the bounding function because none of the queens attack each other and the height of the state space tree is 4. Now when we have 4 queens and the height of the state space tree is 4 and the node at the last level is not killed that means all the queens are placed in their proper positions. The answer to the 4 queens problem is placing queen 1 in column 2 since x1 is 2, placing queen 2 in column 4 since x2 is 4, placing queen 3 in column 1 since x3 is 1 and placing queen 4 in column 3 since x4 is 3. Now this is one of the possible solutions and there may be other possible solutions to this problem. Therefore we will follow the next live node which is node 38 which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 3 and queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 1 and when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 4 then queen 4 is placed in row 4 and column 2. So x4 will be 2 since queen 4 is placed in column 2 and we are at node 39 of the state space tree. Now node 39 is the answer node since this node is not killed by the bounding function 
because none of the queens attack each other and the height of the state space tree is 4. Now when we have 4 queens and the height of the state space tree is 4 and the node at the last level is not killed, that means all the queens are placed in their proper position. So another solution to the 4 queens problem is placing queen 1 in column 3 since x1 is 3, placing queen 2 in column 1 since x2 is 1, placing queen 3 in column 4 since x3 is 4 and placing queen 4 in column 2 since x4 is 2. Now this is another possible solution, but there may be other possible solutions. Therefore, we will follow the next live node which is node 54 which becomes the E node and is expanded. Now, when queen 1 is placed in row 1 and column 4, queen 2 is placed in row 2 and column 1 and when queen 3 is placed in row 3 and column 3, then queen 4 is placed in row 4 and column 2. So x4 will be 2 since queen 4 is placed in column 2 and we are at node 55 of the state space tree. The node 55 is immediately killed because of the bonding function that is when queen 4 is placed in row 4 and column 2 then queen 3 and queen 4 will be on the same diagonal and will attack each other. So queen 4 cannot be placed in row 4 and column 2. Now we have considered all the possibilities of placing queen 4 in row 4 when queen 1 is placed in column 4 and queen 2 is placed in column 1 and queen 3 is placed in column 3. So all the children of node 54 are generated. Now, there are no more live nodes in the state space tree and finally we have node 31 and node 39 as the answer nodes which are the solutions to the four queens problem. The solution is expressed as a tuple represented by values of xi. Therefore, the solution is the path from the root node 1 to the answer node 31 which is x1 equal to 2, x2 equal to 4, x3 equal to 1 and x4 equal to 3 which can be expressed as a tuple 2, 4, 1, 3, meaning queen 1 is placed in column 2, queen 2 is placed in column 4, queen 3 is placed in column 1, and queen 4 is placed in column 3. Now, we do have another solution that is the solution is the path from the root node 1 to the answer node 39, which is x1 equal to 3, x2 equal to 1, x3 equal to 4, and x4 equal to 2 which can be expressed as a tuple 3, 1, 4, 2, meaning queen 1 is placed in column 3, queen 2 is placed in column 1, queen 3 is placed in column 4, and queen 4 is placed in column 2. So this is how branch and bound approach is used to find the solutions to the four queens problem. The same procedure of branch and bound is followed to find the solutions for eight queens or n queens problem.